Welcome to another edition of Joe's Technology. I'm Joe. Now here's an interesting video, and, and I've been asked about this before. Uh, I talk about installing uh, Linux all the time. However, a lot of people are still using Windows machines, and for whatever reason, you know, they, they uh, would prefer to be able to dual boot rather than ha completely wiping the computer and going straight to Linux. So, let's see. Okay, I just want to make sure that wasn't a bad message. <laughs> <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to install Linux side by side with Windows 7. And in this case, I've chosen Linux Mint 15 using the uh, Mate desktop. So here we are. I've, I've put the uh, Linux Mint CD in the drive and fired the computer up. However, this computer has Windows 7 already installed on it. So when I go to install Linux Mint, I'm going to do things a little bit differently than I have in my other videos where I simply install onto a fresh computer. So let's go ahead and go through the install procedure. Again, English is my default language since I'm here in the United States. I have plenty of drive space so I can go ahead and commit to that. That should be no problem. Now Linux should look and see. It, it sees it. It says, hey, I'm here with Windows 7. Now there are two options. We can replace it or we can install alongside it. Well, in this case, we're going to install alongside because we want to see how it is that we dual boot. And as you can see, Linux Mint has guessed that that's probably what you're going to want to do, and that's the default option. So we can just click Continue. Now it wants us to uh, allocate the hard drive space. Um, everything looks fine to me, so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll allow it to split it just the way it wants it. Okay, I'll go ahead and say yes. You cannot undo this operation, so be sure that you're happy with it before you do it. This is also good to have your Windows installation disks handy. It, oh, and be sure to back up your computer before you ever attempt something like this, just in case something bad happens. 99% of the time it won't, but if it does, it'll be bad if you don't have a backup of your data. And besides, these days, USB thumb drives are so cheap. Uh, just back up the files that are critical to you and be ready to reinstall if you have to. I'll go ahead and I'll leave my time zone the default. You can pick whichever time zone is appropriate for your area of the world. Again, English United States is fine for me. Uh, and again, I'll just choose Joe and pick a username, pick a password. require my password at login, which is default. I always prefer that administrative credentials get checked before any changes are made. Okay, now that I've told Linux Mint what I want to do, as you saw with the, uh, or if it wasn't clear, it took the hard drive and basically divided it in half and said, all right, this half that's already there, that will go to Windows. The other half will go to Linux Mint. And I could have changed uh, the amount of uh, hard drive space that I allocated to Mint if I wanted to, but I was happy with just dividing the drive uh, between the two different operating systems. So now it's uh, copying off of the, uh, the boot CD onto the hard drive, After now that it's already uh, set up the partition, and it should take just a moment. That's one of the nice things is uh, Mint installs pretty quickly. If you've ever had to do a Windows installation, and in fact I have uh, some videos demonstrating. Some of them can take a while, depending on <laughs> what configuration you have. Even longer if you have some weird devices and then it's time to go uh, on the driver hunt. Although in all fairness, the, the same thing can happen with Linux too. Uh, we're just fortunate that these days there are distributions like uh, Linux Mint, Zorin, and others that uh, do come with very good driver support and are able to recognize the bulk of the hardware out there very easily. And for people who want specialized things like video accelerators, NVIDIA and ATI are both gotten a lot better, NVIDIA in particular, about providing driver support in a more timely manner. I want to say a big thank you to Linus Torvalds. I, I think he really got NVIDIA's attention. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know what I mean by that, um, i tell you what, I'll, I'll provide a link. Uh, here you go. Here's a link on the screen. And you can see what uh, Linus had to say. Uh, Linus, if you're not aware of it, is actually the... Uh, the gentleman who uh, came up with the idea for Linux um, in a roundabout sort of a way. And uh, so he, we have him to thank for uh, getting NVIDIA's attention. Uh, fortunately, when uh, Linus speaks, uh, people listen. 
Okay, so we're finishing installing our language packs. Oh, this will take a couple of minutes. I, I tell you what, as a courtesy, I'll go ahead and I'll fast forward for you. Okay, so here we are. This is our new Grub boot screen. As you can see, now we have a choice between Linux Mint 15 or Windows 7. In fact, here, let's load Windows 7 just to show that Windows is still operational. So as you can see, Linux Mint correctly uh, divided the hard drive in half, uh, well, hard drive partition, I should say, and installed itself without, uh, oh, well, I guess Windows wants to check something. It says, hey, wait a minute. The, uh, oh, that's right. It's realizing that the partition size has changed. Now, this is normal. Uh, here, I'll just go ahead and hit enter and say, uh, don't worry about checking. So Windows is just a little upset. It's like, hey, wait a minute, the hard drive got smaller. <laughs> and uh, here, I'll go ahead and, uh, well, you know what? I'll log in as Bob. Bob is a standard user rather than an administrator. So we'll just look and see and make sure. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't think he's been logged into before. So he's creating his desktop. This shows that all of our operations for Windows 7 uh, will still work normally. Ugh. Yeah, because he hadn't been logged into, it takes a second to uh, create his profile since he's a brand new user. Okay, great. So here I am in Windows 7. Everything looks good. Uh, everything works. I mean, I can bring up a little program, you know, sit there and draw pictures. Uh, I should be able to bring up Explorer and hit the internet. Oh, of course, since it's Explorer, it automatically goes to Microsoft. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, and since it's the first time, then you get uh, bamboozled with, uh, hey, you know, all these wonderful things about Explorer. Well, I don't care. All right, so let's go ahead and restart and verify that we can still log into Linux Mint. Okay, so here we are back at the Grub boot screen. And this time I'll go ahead and choose Linux Mint 15 Mate 64 bit. Ah, that's a good sign. There we have the nice little Linux Mint logo. And here we are, ta-da! Whoops! Uh, well, I'll blur that out. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> note uh, to everybody, it, click on the user that you want first, otherwise it's going to assume that you're typing the user and then it exposes it to everybody. Uh, but that's okay, I can blur that out. And here we are. Ta-da! So we have Linux Mint 15 and Windows 7 running on the same computer. And we didn't have to reinstall anything. We just added Mint and we can choose whichever operating system we want at uh, boot time. Now there is one limitation to be aware of, and this is just a, a, a Linux related thing. If your hard drive is over, what is it, uh, I want to say two terabytes in size, uh, there's a little problem with addressing. Um, so you may run into that where you, you get this uh, strange message about uh, uh, block sizes being too big or exceeding the maximum. Uh, so hopefully the, the hard drive that you want to dual boot on is less than two terabytes in size. Uh, I'm sure there's a workaround someplace for this, but, but to be honest, I haven't found it yet. Uh, of course, I've been busy with other things, so I haven't looked. Okay, so that's a demonstration of dual booting. Uh, Linux with a Windows system, and our demonstration here was Linux Mint 15 with the Mate desktop.